unfortunately the uh, battery died on me just now so I've gone to reserve so I'm not quite sure how far we got with this one so um, we, we get to the speed we need to be driving at we press on there and then we can accelerate or decelerate by moving that up or down to cancel we can press that button there if we have had to turn it off and we need to go back in so we can turn it off by pressing the off button or pressing the brake we can put it back on again and then just pull that one towards you and that's got resume written on the top there and that will get uh, back to that speed as uh, as quickly as possible while doing it safely so moving away from the dash over there we'll have a quick look at the heater so we've got temperature control on there fan speed on this side with the aircon in the middle mode gives us our direction of air then we've got our recycled air demiss the front windscreen and then on or off completely there we've got USB points and HDMI below that and a power point we also have a power point down here Behind that we have our gear stick, which obviously whenever you move anything, it's foot on the brake, just pull it across and then down. If we go to reverse, you'll hear the beep with the parking sensors coming on and then you'll get this screen on the stereo system. The furthest marks away, the yellow markers, are about two meters behind the car. So when those, the far ends of those touch it, you're about two meters away. The amber ones will be about, about a meter and then the red ones will be about 50 centimeters away. Um, this across the bottom is actually the bumper of the car. So if you've got a tow bar on there as well, you'll see the tow bar. So that's what you're gonna get on there. Down to neutral, down to drive, and then pop it across for manual where you get to use this button or the plus and minus buttons on here. To the side of that, we've got two buttons we've got a shift release lock basically if you forget you're driving along and you, you pull up and you've got it in drive and you've turned the key off before you've put it back into gear you need to push that button down it will disengage a pin underneath which will free you up to move the gear stick back into position and then you've got EWP which is economy winter and power so on the far side of the screen we've just had power come up it's now just changed to winter and now it's off so if there's nothing written up there then it's in economy which is the best way to drive the car for general general driving um, power would mean it would hold the gearbox in gear longer um, to give you a slightly sportier feel shall we say um, and winter means it would change gear a little bit faster um, to try and reduce any wheel spin or something if you were driving in the snow behind that we've got our heated seats so you've got hot and cold so heated and cold seats to get them off you just touch them twice and then you've got levers there two levers one for the top section and one for the bottom 